Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wilkie, and I'm back with what is, chances are, a daily thing now, where I'm reading the story of Holy Night, um, of Samba Christmas, sorry, sorry I'm like, Samba Night, Holy Night. I'm so flustered because of, um, how much fun I've been having, so I'm, I'm basically doing a full read-through, one, because, uh, Quetz is my favorite character, and this is her story, and two, this is actually a super limited event that has never actually returned. So if someone just kind of wanted to see it, I guess you could hear me read it if you wanted to, if you wanted, I guess, that way of doing it. So that's what I'm doing. I hope you like it. If you do, remember to leave a like. I do try and keep these around 10 minutes in length, while also having all the story stuff you need in there. So let's get into it. It's not easy, by the way. It's not easy. Oh, uh, yeah. Starting off. By the way, if you end up liking it, I forgot if I said leave a like, comment, and subscribe. This damn song is too good. There we go. I'm invigorated, man. It's like almost 3 a.m. and I'm still- I can't believe I never dreamed she would set up such a diabolical trap. No. I... No matter how strong I am, I can't possibly fight an attack team my, by myself. That would be against everything Lucha stands for. Yes. Uh, why am I going to find the righteous Luchador or Luchadora who can fight by my side? I trust this goes without saying, but just in case, remember that having Master join you in the ring is not going to be an option. Sorry I'm not in better shape. Sorry I'm not better at pro wrestling. That's okay. I can never actually drag you into a lucha ring even if I wanted to. I still don't know what I'm going to do, though. Hmm. Did you hear that? It came from that alley. It looks like someone just collapsed. Oh, so hungry. I don't think I'm gonna make it. I'm sorry. No, no, I'm not giving up now. I've been through so much worse than this in my travels. Still, starvation might be the first for me. I know going so long without eating could do this war to you. <laughs> now that I think about it, this might be a really anything that can happen to a knight. Just go ahead and kill me now. Not that there's anyone around to actually do that for me. Oh man. I could really go for some bread right about now. <laughs> oh man, I must be as closer to death than I thought. Now I'm hallucinating a tiny animal that somehow reminds me of the Lord Merlin booping me on the nose to see if I'm alive. Fall, 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 fall. I'm guessing you've put it together already, but that servant un that's a servant under those rags. This particular servant appears on the verge of disappearing due to the severe lack of magical energy. Is the servant's equivalent of dying in a ditch on the side of a road? So what are you gonna do about it? Well, zip. <laughs> uh, I mean, my character is a girl. So you wouldn't really actually do girls wear zippers? If you're a female, tell me if you wear zipper pants. I think I can at least give her some bread. My master's so kind, yes. I love how you never hesitate to help anyone, someone in need. I'll help I'll help you. Come on, let's get them up and give them some water too. Levantate. Huh? Are you awake now? Did you get enough to eat? I don't understand what's going on. Why can I still taste delicious wheat? Wait a minute, did you guys save me or something? You could say that, yeah. You. Yeah. Oh man, I knew it. I'm so sorry for the trouble. This is so embarrassing. Knights are supposed to help others, not be helped. Oh, but where are my manners? Thank you so much. It's okay. All we did was provide you with a few supplies. A little bread and water for nutrients and a bit of magical energy from Master's Mystic Code has you back on your feet. Ignore her pants being down. We have plenty of supplies to spare, so please don't worry about it. I have to say, though, I'm surprised that there was such a beautiful woman beneath all those rags. I'm staring right- Your shield is amazing, too. Like a burst of light. As a shielder myself, I'd love to hear all about it. Hmm? You're using Magecraft to see and talk to me from far away? Does that mean you guys are mages? Not to me. 
I am a servant who brings joy to everyone with dancing and presents, yes? A dancer servant? I don't know if those were a thing. You know, your outfit looks kind of familiar. Is that what's trendy right now? I guess I'm a mage, technically. I'm a very shitty mage, but I'm a mage. I knew it. Oh, I haven't heard many good things about mages, but I guess you did save my life. Then again. Full fool. <gasps> Wait a sec. I know that animal reminded me of Lord Merlin. Er, well, it smells kind of like him. In fact, I kind of sense Lord Merlin in you too, too. Listen, what happened with me and Merlin? Would you, would you two happen to have some connection to him? When away, I'm um, ways off from living in the lap of luxury like him. I guess you could say we know each other. Great, then I know I can trust you. I don't care for mages much. In fact, I kind of hate them. But Lord Merlin is another story. He's helped me out on a journey plenty of times. So you're a relative of Lord Merlin, huh? Great, you're not the first people like that to help me out of a jam. Alright, I almost forgot to introduce myself. My name's Bradamante. Uh, I don't know why I said it with a Spanish accent when she is French. As a loyal knight to the kingdom of Franks, I travel the world righting wrongs in the name of the true king. Bradamante of the Franks, does that mean you're one of the twelve paladins of Charlemagne? So you heard of us? Yeah, I, I served as Imperial Majesty Charlemagne alongside my brother, Rinaldo. <clears throat> um... I could have sworn I'd seen Charlemagne on the moon or something. Stuffle's been a big help to me. You know Stuffle too? I apologize on his behalf if he's made any trouble for you. He's a good guy, really. He just doesn't know he's think things through. Or, um, ever. Hmm, so many questions, so little time. Okay, let's start with this. Can you tell us how you got here? Or at least how you ended up covered in rags, almost dead in an alley? It's, um, kind of a humiliating story, especially for a night. But since you did save my life, I suppose you deserve the truth. Okay, here's what happened. Hmm, I've been summoned. I have no idea where this place is. Now where do I do? Now what do I do? I don't see a spellcaster anywhere. Maybe I was summoned by some sort of relic or something? Hmm, what's this? Scratchy nose, scratch my nose. Whoa, this treasure must be awfully powerful. Is that what called me here? I'm not sure, but I'm sure there's only one thing to do when you find a powerful relic like this. You have to pray to it. Okay, um, may there be peace on earth and happiness for all of God's name. And uh, speaking personally, there's this person I'm looking for, so... Wow. Hey, this holy mask goes only to the victor. I won't have anyone trying to steal it on my watch. Victor? But you do appear to be some sort of hero yourself. But then I'll settle for stripping you for your powers. Reminder, once again, I am Mexican and a Salvadorian. <laughs> and I'm doing Ren's voice from Ren and Stimpy. Under the Christmas cir under the <laughs> Christmas circumstances, under the circumstances, I should even be able to hold add it to the whole. What? Under the circumstances, I should even be able to hold. Uh, you idiot! Can you fucking say something correct? I should even be able to add it to the Christmas grail. If you're only going to humiliate me, then kill you? No, I don't think so. I can't just reduce the number of fighters before the tournament starts. There should be a problem gathering more than enough, but better safe than sorry. My magical shield should be able to- Oh no, I'm too late. Yeah. Zap, 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 zap. Now you're- Man, that girl's vagina is just straight up on show. <laughs> it will be me who becomes the true Santa. But I should at least give everyone else a chance to it. At it. If you if you wish to take back your power, is what I'm going to assume you say. If you wish to take back your power, your only recourse is to enter the Santa Tag Team Tournament. Ha <laughs> ha And there you have it. Oh, this is so embarrassing. Now I see, so you're a victim of Black Quetzal Mass too. But I am still a knight, sworn to the justice served. I don't know the meaning of the word give up. So I decided to take her advice and enter the tournament to get my power back and rub it in her smug face. 
Then I found out you need a partner to participate. I tried exploring the town, but since I don't know my way around this place, I haven't been trying. I haven't been having any luck. And eventually, your magical energy ran out, and you ended up collapsing in the alley where we found you. Full, full. Such a kind gaze. Are you trying to cheer me up? Oh, Lord Fo, you and your Lord Merliny smell are so wonderful. Still, <laughs> your timing couldn't be better. Don't you agree, Wokey? Talk about divine providence. Maybe Merlin really did have a hand in this. Fo, fo, fo. Oh, yes. As a matter of fact, I've been examining you for a while now. Close up on the vagina. Very nice chest. Very good. <laughs> That's actually what she was going to say. <laughs> a sexy yet flexible leotard. A blue and white collar scheme that would stand up beautifully in the ring. And above all, you said your name was Bradman? 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 It's like you were born with a great ring name. Oh, you would be Nueva Luchadora Perfecta, or rather a Technica in Limbia, to use the official terms. What? My name is Bradamante, not Bradman. Oh, really? Well, no problem. I'll just have to come up with your ring name for you myself then. Yeah. I'll be using a ring name for myself as well. Besides, this is a homeland of the faith worshipped me no so bet uh, Besides, this is the homeland of the faith that worshipped me, so I better don't so better if I don't go around showing my face and using my true name here. It's dead. Tada! And for my ring name I'll go with Quetzal Mask, Luchadora of Mystery. Badass. She's really not cut out for this guy's or just No fuck the badass. Huh? You're the one from the ruins. I thought I'd recognize your outfit. Now you're in for it. Wait, please, look at the mask. It's a different color. You got the wrong god. So she didn't even notice until now. Oh, that's okay. This is a good chance to explain why we're here. Do I have to actually fight her? No, I don't. So you want to enter the Santa Tag Team Tournament, too. See, if Black Quetzal Mask is going to be Aruda, then I'll be the Technica and I'll take her down. I was just out looking for a babyface teammate to join me in the ring, and we found it. You, uh, yeah, wow, I can't believe they're actually using wrestling terms. And as I said earlier, you would be perfect. Will you be my partner, por favor? It doesn't look like I have a choice. I don't care about being Santa, but I do need to win if I'm going to reclaim my knightly power. And most importantly, I owe you guys my life. Alright then, on my honor as one of the 12 paladins of Charlemagne... I, Bradamante, vow to fight by your side as your tag team partner to the very last. <gasps> Yay! Let's go! Alright. And that's the end of today's video, everyone. I hope you liked it. I will continue the story tomorrow. Till next time, everyone. You guys have a good day, and I'll see you next time.